philosophers say you can't love what you don't know. Do you know that? And I thought, that's not true. I love lots of people. <laughs> I don't know. I always wonder, so who thought of all these rules? You know, like, I know, and why are we following them? This is a dreamer's discourse. Act one, falling in love. Do you wish that the person you love fell in love with you back then and you ended up together? I don't know. It's like, you just don't know. That's the thing about love that makes it so exciting. You don't know what's going to happen. Like, you want someone to love you because you think they're sexy and handsome and they have that sparkle in their eyes. And when you see them, you just feel that feeling in your stomach and that whole thing. But then maybe if they did love you and you were in their arms and all, it, and if it wasn't what you thought it was going to be, you know, then it would be sad. And that happens all the time in this world. People are always falling in love with people and they're not being what they thought. Do you think it's better to keep them at a distance? No, I... I think you should jump in. <laughs> I think, why miss the chances, you know? I mean, it, it doesn't happen every day to everybody. People don't walk around every day saying, oh my God, today I fell in love again. I found this wonderful, perfect person I just want to be with. I just want to hear their voice. It's pretty rare. Act two, birth. Sometimes, I think the solution is being alone, married to myself. At the same time, I would like nothing more than to get married to all of my dearest friends, deepest crushes, and loves of my life. I want to break all the rules and love entirely. I cope by documenting memories so that I can remember how I felt, collecting tangible things in the moment to ground me later on. Chocolates from the night I fell in love under an Aquarius moon. Mussels from the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. A tin box containing jewelry from my dearest friend's childhood. Hair from my favorite haircut. Antidepressants from the past five years. I'm at the place where we fell in love. Will you meet me there? Act three, heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> and then get rejected. No, but you know what? That's fun too. But like I said, no love is ever wasted. When I see someone and I think, oh my God, they're so wonderful. They're so adorable. I like the way they laugh. I'm really happy for the whole time I'm in love with them. And maybe later when they tell me I'm married or you're not my type. <laughs> and then I'm sad. But you know, it was fun while it lasted. It was love, it was great. I mean, what else were we gonna do while we're still here, you know? Good love, loving love makes you a certain way and then rejection and hurt also makes you. So it's, it's both sides of the coin. If you're gonna love, you're probably gonna suffer because no matter who you're in love with, your whole life, they're gonna die. Like I said about parental love, my mother's dead now, but some days I just think, oh God, I miss you so much. How do you cope with that? I feel that we are a spirit. The essence of us isn't just this flesh. So her body's gone, but I am her. She made me in her body. That's a weird thing. And she loved me so much that her love, it's all over me and it stains me. And I am the person I am because of her love. My mother loved strawberries. Certain things were luxuries, you know, apples are cheap, oranges, but strawberries. So every time she'd get a carton, she'd cut the top and slice them in four pieces and put them all in a bowl, a tiny bit of sugar, mix them. And every time I cut strawberries, I become her. It's really weird because I would watch her. If you spend the time loving people and listening to them and looking into their eyes and really hearing them and being with them and laughing, then you keep them. You keep them. Yeah. They become part of you. You're part of them. And... And then they're not gone because it is really hard. Other people are just kind of like, what are, who, what are they doing? We're playing. It's fun to play. And it's fun to love people, right? So, you know, that's your movie. You have a great movie.